<laughs> what's, the, what's the response from the office? I'm just, yeah, is there a response in the office? Is it, oh, no one answered the phone? Uh, I just talked to the office and said no one's available to come out here. So. Okay, and just for the record, uh, is the Senate in session? Is the Senate in session? Can you imagine again? This is, you talk about extreme behavior, you talk about constituents here. We talk about the treatment where someone just called and asked someone to the Jesus to open the door, here's a letter, please deliver it. They said that. Right. So people ask, well, why, why must the person, why won't he, you know, what's wrong with this type of leadership? This is not acceptable when you have constituents ready to go forward. So with that, I think we want to, who can we deliver this to? Is there, is there um, a Sergeant I, Arms here? Or yeah, I might be able to get some of that. Anyone can use? I don't know, maybe Howie can think about first. <laughs> 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 no, but I think, I think, I think it says something. What's that? No, we're still waiting. This is the Senate. I know they're in operation. Hey, there's there's people here. Who are visiting. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, anyone here from LDA team? Just to make sure that this are Yes. 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 You know I'm here. I'm just trying to say this again. I don't know any other capital in the country where citizens, citizens can at least get recognized. I'm not saying you get an appointment. I'm not saying you meet with the senator. But the staff will at least greet you and say, can I take your name? And let's get down the road. We may call you back. Yeah, right? I'm, this is just really interesting. So this, we can hide. we've got security doors here. The sergeant at arms coming? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so no. Assistant sergeant. Okay, no, no, assistant sergeant. No, he's not. He's in the we did last time. Corporate. All right. The other thing I'm going to pass with the president is a letter directed by our um, sister of Arizona is going to go to the governor requesting that um, that members of our committee be present at the signing. This is a very historic moment. We're standing. Um, we're see what's going to take place. So. so we can't get anyone to deliver a letter. We've already talked to them. All right, so let's think it out. Maybe we just gotta slide this under the door. You all want to slide under the door? No. <laughs> no? You wanna slide it under the door? I think it's a reflection. You gotta slide this thing under the door. Okay, slide it under the door. Throw it away. I say we stay here until they come out. There you go. We've been, just so you all know, the amount of respect that you get from his office. Last time we were here, the Sergeant Arm was here to deliver the letter. Then we've been told, oh, assistant sergeant arms can come up. Now they say they're looking for a page. Right? <laughs> so just, again, just again, this is more. Uh, you don't warrant a. Uh, yeah, we don't warrant. Yeah, y'all don't warrant. You know, so, no. And then uh, the police officers, they just don't ask them about going to go. They secure. They say they want to secure. That's something to go down. With no one attention. They came over so behind, behind the security desk. <laughs> about wasteful spending of tax dollars, and although we do not feel that the costs associated with the recall election would be wasteful, we believe that it would be consistent with your core beliefs. This petition was circulated because of your failure to focus in issues and concerns that affect all Arizona. As we stated in our petition, quote, Mesa and Arizona need a leader who will pass laws to create jobs, protect public education, and ensure access to health care for our children and those most in need. Mesa voters have withdrawn their support for you as their elected senator. Thank you for considering our request to resign. Uh, I'd like to present that to the, the Senate page has been sent out. Uh, you will see that Senator Pierce gets that. Let's hear it for the page. <laughs>
I just I just want to, before we move on, I mean, Chad's going to be the delegation. I'll join it too to the governor's office to request that we, like people when they sign landmark legislation, they're there for the signing. This has, again, never been done in the history of Arizona, so folks would like to have people from LD18 be present to kind of witness it. It could be a historic moment. She may say no, she may not. We know calls have been going in. But I just, again, want to thank you all for your commitment and your sacrifice, what you do, to make time to come down here and be part of this delegation. Um, to see what's taking place. This is really grassroots citizens in action, regardless of your party, whether you're a Democrat or independent party. Republican, you've been part of this effort. You have walked and knocked on doors. You have contributed. You've been part of it. So I want to thank you again for the work that you're doing to really make this, this, this a special, special day. You know, July, Jan, you know, this thing can move so fast. Just to give you a sense, we thought it was going to take 60 days to come to the county office. It took about 35. Once I got back to the Secretary of State's office, I thought it did another five days. It took four hours. I went from the Secretary of State's office to Governor Brewer's office as of 208 in the afternoon on Friday afternoon in Sydney. Right? So now within the next 15 days there's gonna be an election, the election will probably be in November. Right? And so the second thing we said we you which are holding is where is recall Pierce? Right? Where is he at? <laughs> this is someone who has no problem being going on Fox News, National TV anytime he wants to, right? The time when he's been recalled by citizens, he refused to show his head, he's hiding out. So this is, again, it's a testament to the work that you all have done. So I want to encourage you to keep doing that and keep on moving forward. We will. And so Chad, do you want to just leave folks over to the governor's office? I'll join you in about 10 minutes. Good job, you guys.